Hi, in this lecture, I'll give you an overview of the KiCad Project Manager, which is the window that you're looking at right here. This is the window that starts when you start KiCad. And uh, as you can see, the KiCad Project Manager is a way for you to access the various individual KiCad apps. So KiCad is not a single application, as I've explained earlier. It is a collection of individual apps that all together make up the KiCad software suite. The, the main window contains two big components that uh, dominate the real estate of this window. You can see on the left side, is the the browser of the project so this is uh, essentially a if a file browser that gives you access to the individual files that are present inside the main kicad project directory and then on the right side you've got buttons that give you access to the individual apps you have the ability to use these buttons here as shortcuts as well as the options up in the menus to access these functions as well or these apps as well so for example you can click on this button to bring up the schematic editor so there's a schematic editor for this project or you can do the same by double clicking on the kicad underscore sch file in the project files area just double click and it will bring up the same file or it can go under tools and then schematic editor and access the same file again, the schematic in the schematic editor. So as you can see, there are multiple ways to achieve the same thing in KiCad and you can just choose which one fits best with your workflow. On the left side, you've got a, a bunch of buttons, uh, which are buttons, shortcuts that give you access to the same kind of items that you'll find in the file drop down menu so for example the first button right here is the new blank project button either you go for command n or control n or via the file menu and the new project or you click on this button the effect is going to be the same then you've got the open project button or open project in the toolbar on the left side and so on so there's multiple ways, as I said, again, to access functions. The project files area that you see here in this particular project uh, looks quite busy because I've got a bunch of um, directories here that are not usually necessary. So these directories I created manually. They contain Gerber files for a couple of different versions of the PCP layout. I've got one directory for my graphics and another one for my custom libraries that I use only inside this project. So what exactly you see here in the project files may vary from project to project, but at the very least in here, you'll see these two files, the kickout underscore PCB and kickout underscore SEH, which contain your schematic and your PCB editors data. So this is an example. And again, we're going to go through these files in the next few sections as we go through example projects. Don't worry too much about what is inside here, what these particular buttons trigger. I'm going to go through all of them in a later lecture in this section. So we're going to spend a bit of time here as well. I want to go here up in the menus and show you a few things. First of all, under the KiCad and then about KiCad uh, menu item, click on that and you'll bring up the about KiCad window. And this is where you get information about the version of KiCad that you are using. In this case, you see here that I'm using version 5.99.0 with uh, lots of other numbers and letters in this version. And that's because I'm using a pre-release version of KiCad to record these lectures. So I'm using version 5.99, which is a nightly release uh, from the KiCad development team, uh, which in this instance is essentially KiCad 6 before it is released. You can browse through those tabs here and you can find information about the version of KiCad that you're using and its library components, um, acknowledgements for its developer team, and all the people that have contributed to building this software. Uh, there is the document writers, the librarians, and so on. So all this information is here. 
Now, the About KiCad page is also very useful if you ever encounter issues with KiCad bugs, for example. You can click on this button here to have them reported. And clicking on that button will take you directly to GitLab where you can report your bug. There is a page here with some of its information and fields pre-populated for you and instructions on how to go about to report a bug. And see, in this section of the description field is where you can copy the version information version from the About KitKat window and paste it in here so that the developers that will look at your bug report know exactly which version of KitKat you are using. So keep this in mind. All right, now, another thing that you have access to under the KitKat drop-down menu is the preferences uh, window. So in the preferences window, you'll get access to uh, several tabs. And exactly what you see here also depends on which application you have activated. So right now we are only working in the KitKat project manager. So you only have the, these three items in here. If you had, for example, the schematic editor running as well, then the same menu, preferences, will also give you access to the schematic editor options that you can modify and change. If we go into the, say the PCP editor, then the same window will give you access to the PCB editor options that you can change. I'm going to go through all of those options in detail in later sections, so you don't need to worry about them. For now, I'm just showing you where they are and that they are available and how they can vary depending on what it is that you're doing in KiCad. All right, so that's it with the KiCad menu. Then under File, we've got the typical options of any software that deals with files so you can open up and close files or projects in particular uh, you can save them don't worry about these last three options because i've got lectures in the very last section in this course the recipe section where i explain how to import non kickout projects and how to archive and unarchive a project all right moving on we have the ability to open up any of our files here in a text editor. Uh, this, this is a text editor that you can define under the preferences menu, common, so helper applications, text editor. I'll give an example. Let's say that you'd like to have a look inside the schematic file. So all you've got to do is to right click on it and click on edit in a text editor. And the file will come up in a text editor as you can see you can do, go directly in it and uh, edit it uh, all of these files are simple text files uh, and you can use text editors to edit them so this is just an example of what you can do through the kickout project manager let's have a look at other interesting things uh, under the under the view menu item and you can click on the browse project files option and that and that will bring up uh, the project directory in a file browser so you can see exactly what's in it. And this is a good opportunity to compare what you see in the file browser versus what you see here in the projects file in the KiCad project manager. You can see there's um, a matching of directories and files. There are a few files that are not visible in the project file manager. For example, uh, the MCU data logger, this is an XML file that I generated as part of another lecture. Uh, this file is not visible in the project file. You can see there's a cache file here and a table file. And again, those are not visible in here. So the project files area in the KiCad project manager is a bit selective with the things that, you, that it shows you. And that's why sometimes you need to go straight into the directory on the file system that contains those files to see what else is available. And again, you can do that through view and browse project files. Okay, um, the tools uh, drop down menu gives you access to the individual apps in the KiCad software suite. For now we're gonna skip this because I've got a lecture coming up later in this section where we'll go through each one of the individual components of the KiCad software suite. Under preferences, we've got access to the configure paths window, this window right here. 
We also have access to the symbol libraries, global and project libraries, and of course the footprints libraries. Now, don't worry at all about this because we are going to spend a lot of time looking at libraries, uh, both footprint and symbol libraries in projects that are coming up. For now, I'm just going to tell you that symbols are the components that you use inside schematics, such as this resistor, for example, and this integrated circuit, and that footprints are the items that you see inside your PCB design editor or the layout editor that represent the real components on the target PCB that look in this case like a integrated circuit. And those are available through the respective libraries. Uh, KiCad comes equipped with a lot of symbols and a lot of footprints, but you can also add your own like I have done here, for example. So I'm going to talk more about those in later sections and later lectures as the need arises as well because there's quite a lot of information to absorb here. So let's put this aside and I also want to focus really quickly in an upcoming lecture in this section on paths and the paths configuration window that you see here because it's quite important. So I'm going to deal specifically with this in an upcoming lecture. Next up and finally, we've got the help menu. Uh, with a lot of really useful options here in the help menu. Uh, you can start by clicking on the top option, the help option, and that will bring up the documentation that ships with KiCad. You can see that this is running on my own computer. It's not fetched from the internet. So this is like a quick reference where you can go and have a look at uh, the current documentation. Just be mindful that this documentation may be old. Uh, it does get updated from time to time, but as you can see here, at the time I'm recording this, the, the documentation is not very new. It's still talking about upgrading to version 5 from version 4 of KiCad, so that is several years old. But it could be a place to begin uh, your work if you need a bit of uh, documentation-based help. Um, next, back to the help menu, uh, getting started with KiCad that gives you access to uh, more documentation that like, also uh, ships with KiCad. So you can browse through it. Uh, let's see, we also have a list of hotkeys. Uh, hotkeys are ways to enable a particular function using a key combination on your keyboard instead of running through the menus. And everything in here is customizable as well. Uh, I tend to use the default hotkeys for most functions and rarely uh, I need to make a change and customize. I tend to add hotkeys for items that don't already have an assigned hotkey. For example, this one here doesn't have footprint library browser, doesn't have a, a hotkey assigned. So I often just uh, tend to make the change myself. I'm going to show you how to set up your own hotkeys here uh, in a separate lecture in this course. All right, back to the help menu. Also wanted to show you these last three very important options. So under get involved, KiCad takes you to this part of the KiCad website. So now we are on kiCad.org where you can find information on how to contribute to the project. There's a code of contact here and then the documentations for the team or the developer team you can see what kind of opportunities are available or ways are available for you to help out with the KiCad project and KiCad's development. So that's under help get involved. You can also, of course, choose to donate. Uh, KiCad is free software. It depends on its um, users' contributions for its funding. Uh, and this is where you can go and select how much it is that you'd like to donate. And, and of course, you can also report a bug. This is um, uh, a feature that I showed you earlier. You can access that feature also via KiCad and about KiCad, and you can click on this button here. All right. So this was a overview of the main KiCad window, the KiCad Project Manager. 
let's go over to the next lecture where we are going to walk through the individual applications that make up the KiCad software suite.